Now carrying on from the last video, we're going to minimize all of these windows and focus on viewing the results in Excel. Here you can see MSC Nastran has outputted a CSV file. The way you prompt MSC Nastran to produce this during the optimization is as follows. First, use these two statements at the very top of your DAT file or your BDF file. Uh, if you've seen some of the videos uh, I've gone over before, I outline the process to include these statements. In addition, in your design model DAT file, at the very bottom, you'll find a statement regarding Param XY Unit 52. Now, this statement also has to be included for MSC National to produce the CSV files. So now let's go ahead and open the CSV file. Now let's go ahead and probe uh, the results we have here. Here we get some information regarding the number of design variables, the number of design cycles. And if you saw the previous video before, we saw that the optimization did in fact go through six design cycles. So let me go ahead and track where I left that. So that'll be this here on the left. Here on the right are my CSV files. Uh, here are actual values for the objective. These are the same values that are displayed at the very bottom of your F06 file. So these values would be, uh, here, let me just highlight them. They would be these values. These values, again, are based from the various linear static analysis that were performed throughout the whole optimization process. So 6.96, that was outputted here. 4.84, that was outputted here, et cetera, et cetera, until the final point, 5.47, that was outputted here. We get values from the constraints. So here, the negative 1.6, that would be this field, 6.52, this field, and so on and so on until the very end. Again, these are the normalized constraint values. These are not actually stress constraints or displacement constraints. These are the normalized constraint values of the displacements and the stresses that were defined during the design model creation process. So again, these values are available here in the CSV file. And then here in the bottom table, we get the design variable output. So this is very comparable to the design variable history table that we found in the F06 file. A comment to make, uh, these column headings in the CS CSV file are kind of misleading. So right now I'll take time to go ahead and sort of update these. Uh, here in this column, where it previously said one, these are the initial design variables. And then here in this next column, these are the design variables at the end of design cycle one. In the next column, those are the design variables at the end of design cycle two, and so on and so on. So let's go ahead and put that here. You'll notice that, here, let me see if I can format the, or actually I'll expand this. Let's go ahead and expand the width of these columns just a little bit. You can see here that we have actually six design cycles. Again, uh, design cycle did start, but since there was a hard convergence check that deemed that uh, there was convergence, there was no additional optimization in design cycle six, so we can effectively just ignore that. So in actuality, the optimization really stopped, or was was claimed to stop at design cycle five. Now let's go ahead and produce our plot here. So I'll simply select the data here, and then I'll create an XY plot. Objective value. We can add axes uh, as we all are familiar with doing. For the horizontal, I'll go ahead and select these column headings for the design variable history. And then maybe I should actually make this a 
different plot type. Here we go. I'm going to see the points on this plot type. Here we go. So here we have actual values for the objective. We see that we started off with a, a weight for the stiffen plate of 6.96, and we ended at a weight of 5.48. I can do the same for the constraints. In a future video, again, I'll do a more thorough explanation of what the normalized constraints are. So here, again, these are normalized constraints. And we'll select a different set of data. Here we're selecting the maximum constraint value. So again, I'll cover this table at a future date. And we'll go ahead and create a plot for the design variables. And here, I'll take time to compare this to our analogy of the graph. You can imagine the objective is the value of this graph. So here, again, this is an analogy. It's not really this example, fx1, fx2. So the objective is reporting the values for the f function. And then the design variables, if we're using the same analogy, is reporting the values for x1 and x2. So it's reporting the initial point here, and then every subsequent uh, point throughout the design cycle process. And then that's how you use uh, the CSV file output, or rather, that's how you prompt MSC Nastran to output the CSV file, and then that's how you use Excel to create these graphs, and some uh, I included some uh, comments regarding how to interpret these graphs. Now, in the next video, I'll explain how to take your original starting BDF file Let me look for that now here. This is the BDF file we started off with for this stiffen plate. Uh, as a reminder, we are focused on the stiffen plate. This BDF file is uh, what we then converted to an optimization BDF file. So it'll be this here. We, we converted this. Actually, let me show these side by side. Here on the left, we started off with this BDF file. We then converted it to a solution 200 or optimization BDF file. In the next video, I'm going to explain how to update this original BDF file with the new uh, design variables or the properties for the thickness of the plate and the other design variable. So I'll go ahead and pause there.